cornfield today, warming up already. Sun shines bright. We've caught some rains, but it's never the big rains that maybe the northern parts of the state has received. And then this past weekend, uh, rain came in and kind of slid to the south, and we caught a little, but it wasn't uh, a large rain. So it's kind of taken us a week at a time, uh, barely enough, but the crop still looks good. Uh, as we get out in the, in the fields, uh, the ears are a little smaller. We see some tip back. What I'm afraid of is that the kernels, without this getting a good rain, help fill out the kernels, that these kernels might be light, test weight might be a smaller kernel. We'll just have to see. That's what's really hard to uh, uh, give you a good estimate on what this yield's gonna be. Until we get this crop harvested, I don't think anyone has a great idea. One thing I do know for sure, we're not gonna have a bumper crop, I don't believe, just because there's too much variability in the crop. One thing uh, we're gonna be watching, if we stay in this cooler conditions and maybe uh, have a little more rainfall, that tar spot is a, a problem that has uh, shown up in the eastern part of the Corn Belt last year. Uh, it's something that uh, we've all been watching real closely because it can uh, spread quickly. It can uh, drop the yields 50 bushels the acre, you know, within a week to 10 days, as, as I've heard. They've had problems that they had last year. And so we're watching that. It doesn't seem to be spreading real fast and real bad. Uh, all of our fields are showing. We have, have a, a little of that tar spot there, but it hasn't uh, exploded. And I think the hot weather has slowed that progress down. Uh, that disease likes uh, a cooler temperature uh, maybe a little bit more, more moisture. It's the other issue if we push this crop along faster, this uh, test weight and usually the yields suffer if it pushes too hard, too fast. I've always found our yields do better when we have a long, slow fill of the kernels and the, and the ears and that's usually when we have our top yields. We, we planted uh, about two and a half, three weeks late, later than normal. Uh, so we were all concerned about harvesting, the crop being mature, uh, high moisture, uh, cause a lot more drying and drying bills. With this high temperature we've had, this heat we've had all summer, I think we've uh, made up a lot of the growing degree units uh, and uh, heat units. And so uh, I don't think we're that far behind a normal crop.